Welcome to the Temple Game Clock basic operation demo. Okay, when you start up the program, you have a control panel, and each player gets a uh, what we we'll call a game display, which has the time left for the player and some score indicators. Now, what you do is you first you load a game. In this case, there are some pre-configured games, uh, four chess games, Go, Scrabble, Checkers, Boggle, and some general board games. So we'll pick this chess uh, game, which is a 50-minute game with no delay. And you can see that the time was uh, entered into the clocks for each player. Uh, generally, you'll probably want to adjust the game for the length that you want to play. So you come down here to the period editor, um, change the period length, and we'll set it to five minutes. Click OK. And when I reset the game, you can see the new time has been loaded into each player's clock. OK, to start a game, all you do is click the Start button here. You can see player one's clock starts to count down. Uh, when that player finishes his or her turn, um, he can press either press the space bar on the keyboard or click this uh, move to next player button. And you can see it stops the current player's clock and then the next player's clock begins to tick down. Um, there's a progress bar here underneath the, uh, the player's clock to indicate graphically how much time is left in uh, his or her turn. Now you can pause the game anytime you want by clicking the stop button. You can see that stops the, the current player's clock. Um, you can go take your break, come back, and to resume the game just click the start button again. And you can see the player's current player's clock continues where they left off. Now, to do scoring, um, you come down here to the control panel and you can select which player you want to uh, apply scores to. So, in this case, let's we'll select the black player by clicking the, the, the button here to select player. Um, and for any game, there will be a set of scores that can be applied. In this case, it's, it's chess and um, these are the different game pieces. So if the uh, black player has just captured a rook, we can click rook. And you see in this case it applies a score value to the, uh, the piece that was captured. Of course in chess that's scoring is a, a theoretical value only, but uh, gives you a sense of uh, how the game is proceeding. And when uh, when you're done with, the, let's say, uh, in this case, uh, one of the players was checkmated and the game needs to stop, you just click the stop button. And if you want to play another game, just click the reset, reset button here. The player's clocks are reset and any scores are, are zeroed out and you're ready for a new game. And that's really all there is to the, the basic operations. Um, you can look at the other demos for some of the more advanced functions. Thanks.